Right. Hi, welcome back. So we just attacked Dimity. Um, probably the last stand of the Massalia. They've got Isle up north, but I think um, this will be there. They've got two armies here. Um, so this is their sort of main final stand. So the one army's got um, mainly slave infantry, a few skirmisher cav, some chariots by the look of it. That's their king. Okay, cool. I'll keep an eye out for him on the field. <laughs> Um, they've got, they've definitely got the cap advantage. We've got elephants, but overall they've got a huge cap advantage. So it's going to come down to having a strong front line and using our missile troops to, you know, weaken them up a lot. I think might keep a few, a couple of pikes to the sides to defend the archers, and keep a few swordsmen free to maneuver around the flanks as well. But yeah, it should be a good fight. We we're attacking them though, so they're going to be on the. So we might have to. Uh, Push our pikes towards them. We'll see if they come for it, but they might sally out of the uh, the city. You never know. I suppose fighting in inside the corridors of a settlement favours us because we've got pikes and hold down those choke points very effectively. Oh, this is gonna be a fun battle. Just go straight for it. Dry weather suits our archers. Look at that main corridor. That's tailor made for some pikes. All right, I think I'm gonna focus. Because of the cavalry, I don't want to leave any groups isolated. So I think if we maybe stick to just having the, the army together, I think, on this one. And we can sort of move as a unit and cover our backs as well, should cavalry go around the sides. and Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So Pikes up front for now. Archers behind. Standard formation. Elephants behind them. And infantry around there. Normal formations to get them moving at least. Oh, the Kush! In all, the, in all their might. Badass. Good boys. Right, so I'm not sure where their secondary army is going to actually arrive from. They may be all together, I'm not sure. There's the armored desert cav, okay. Do not send the, guard. the nobles. Right, I'm going to send a couple of, I think, a couple of pikes to the left hand side here to just block off that. Uh, corridor. Get them in there quick, and then we'll get these this, the ones here. Wait, this maybe this group here. Four. Move them forward. Block that one off, and then we'll keep two to the side, just to kind of cover the flanks a little bit. No, I'm trying to get the pikes. There you go. We're just going to let our archers do the work here, I think. We'll, we'll just defend the points and then see what we can do with our archers. Get them over there and get these two here. We'll just see what we can do. Group them as number two, and we'll put the archers as group number one. Oh, we've got five archers, haven't I? What am I doing? There you go. Alright, let's kill some cav. Oh. Armoured cav. You're no match for my Kushite archers. Or my Nubians, rather. Just slaughter. Look at that. Devastation! That's like a full unit just trounced immediately. Over here as well, they're, just, they're stacking them up. Okay, the new the noble cavs gonna be harder to break down, so they're gonna have armor piercing, I'm assuming. But this cavalry is very vulnerable, right? Can I put these guys as group one actually? Um, oh my god, they're getting nailed, absolutely nailed. 
can't move forward because I've got pikes in front of them, so they're just completely stuck. Probably a good thing we're going to take up the infantry first there, I guess, because they're more of a concern to my pikes than the, the cavalry is, obviously. The cavalry is no concern. As long as we've got them locked up like this, I mean, because if they're going to go around the sides, I'll have a problem, but if they're in front of us, we've got no problem. Alright, let's drop this cavalry then. They're causing us a few problems in the front. Well, I think we're just trying to use up our ammo for the archers, and then we'll swap back and push with the pikes. But we'll definitely kill as many as we can while we can at range. I'll just make the approach all that easier. Desert Legionary Cav. Cool. Okay, Roman hybrid. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Waste your ammo. Let's move them over here then, I guess, and we'll focus on this group over here. They're just sitting there and taking it. <laughs> They're giving me archers complete free reign to do what they want at the moment. That's not great. They should be trying to push around the sides here and just, you know, do some kind of rear attack. But they're not. Let's finish off this legionary cow, I guess. Raining death down in the skies. Flipping like. It's brutal. I think archers are definitely my favourite range troops. I mean, javelins and slingers and archers, they've all got their own bonuses or, you know, why they're good. Slingers have got a good range and lots more ammunition. Archers are sort of the mid ground, I guess, and slingers are, sorry, javelin men are limited ammo but they do a heck of a lot of damage in the right areas so it's it's a balance they're all sort of good at their own thing but i think archers are my favorite they just seem so so versatile Missile. extremely effective as well let's move them back over okay they're bowmen out of their ammo i'm so going to pull them back they're no longer in this fight in fact we should probably keep them close in case they get like a rogue group of cavalry charge them down so let's push forward with the pikes. Still got some ammo left on these guys, so I'll use them up. Use up the arrows. Make the most of it. I mean, they've lost like half their army before we even started. Just down to arrow fire. We lost a couple of pikes, especially this unit here. Got a bit battered by the uh, I think it's New Median Cav that came forward, but. Oh, the armored New Median Cav would have wanted to weaken that. Let's get a group of swords behind. We're losing a few troops there, which is not great, but. We'll be engaged in a second. That slave infantry is going to die very quickly. Very quickly. Right, let's move a few guys around the side here as well. Let's take them out of the phalanx so we can just move them in there quickly. I'm trying to kind of push through and get to the, at least get to the missile troops and stop them firing. That's my main aim by pushing the swordsmen up. 
and the pikes can do do what they do, I guess. But I guess we're just occupying the cavalry stuff. So we've beaten back this cavalry unit. Just gonna try and get them over here as well. Take out the javelin men. All right, the pikes are engaged. Yeah, they've still got a lot of missile troops knocking about. Oh, pike, pike, pike. Just a lot too late. Damn it. Actually, our swordsmen have got ammo as well to, to burn up. Chucking javelins and stuff, that's, that's good. Alright, we've broken this army. This, this flank, sorry. I'm gonna push forward here. Let's get stuck in. We're sort of saving the elephants, I guess. I'm not sure if it's better to save them or just throw them in early <laughs> to, like, you know, make it easier for the infantry, I don't know. I can't lose one of these armies, like one of the units, because I don't want to, you know, it's going to be harder to recruit, but let's get them stuck in. My Lord! What are your orders? By your command! Like men at your command! Ready for orders! I'm going to get them stuck in. See how many they can kill in the centre here. We await your orders at the ready. Yours to command. Fight men at your command. Getting fired on with, yeah, with, I've got some fire arrows, which is a problem, but yeah, I guess the main issue for us now is going to be chasing down these troops because we can't really catch them. We can just try and corner, but yeah, it's not going to be easy. We're going to lose a few elephants here. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to pull them out. We lost a few. Yeah, I lost one of them too. That's a shame. Lost two of them. Lost three of them, no. Damn it, guys. What are your orders? At the ready. Elephants at the ready. Ready for orders. Got more men. Got to use our archers here, I think. Just, just try and catch up to some of these guys. That's, that's all we need to do. Just catch up. So close. We just need more ammunition. That's, all, that's the only problem we had. So we've got we've got five units of archers, and they ran out of ammo fairly quickly. Did a hell of a lot of damage, but still, they they had these guys had so much more ammunition and many more troops that had missile capability. We kind of got yeah outmatched by their arrows really. Have to be really quick here and try and get around the back. Just just cut this general unit off. Try and hold the general there with those groups of men and then just come around the back and finish him. Okay, we've caught a few here. I want to keep moving though. Just pesky units got to finish off now. Come on. Move, guys, move. I'll run over the front of mock. Just got to hold them there. Come on. Come on, guys. Back, back, What's the problem? He's struggling up this hill. <laughs> you charging? You are, okay. Bold move, dude. Ill advice as well. I'll keep pursuing with one unit of swordsmen here just to try and get rid of the tribesmen. We await your orders. 
should have the general there. That should be enough to finish it. Okay. Lash unit on this side as well. Really fun fight that one. That was awesome. It was a strong start, not a strong finish, but we got the win. That's the main thing. Dividy conquered. Okay, we lost one unit of elephants there. It's not not terrible. Um, we can oh desert chariots with javelins. That looks pretty good. We can also get oh we can get some nice cav here. We can get armor desert cavalry, which will probably replace the ones we've got in this army here. Yeah, unless we can, can we actually upgrade them. No, just to improve their armor. Okay, let's improve this then. We'll get the. Warrior one again. So she's gonna have, to have yeah quite a few turns to replenish her. I think I'll just move this guy forward while we're, while we're waiting. Dimity, ooh. I guess. Oh, I'm not sure. It's good to have both there. To be fair, we could maybe just disband the or just deconstruct the farm. I think I'll do that. Because we need, we kind of want both here. The royal stables, um, sorry, the horse trainers give us an upgrade to our horses, and plus the cavalry stables give an access to the armored desert cavalry, which is what we want. So I'll keep both of them there for now, and we'll, we'll put like a shrine or something here to improve the public order. Um, it's quite a mixed province. This one we've got these two here, and then it's Tingis, which is held by the Turdetani, and Migdol by the Gaetuli. And they're not tribes I want to be really messing with for now. I want to focus down on Rome after that we've killed them sailing. I'm just going to recruit some heavy cav. Oh, we'll, do that. we'll not do that yet because we're going to just be having upkeep for no reason. We're not moving this army out yet. So we'll, we'll wait for that for a while. Let the army re replenish a bit and then we'll recruit them as we're about to move out to Isle. Bronze warriors. Unlucky lads. Okay, back on this side of things. Just notice on the mini map, Sabra are looking pretty strong actually. They're taking a lot of ground. Oh no, it's, it's a mix between the Celtic. Oh, they are they are strong. Yeah, they are strong. They've got a lot of stuff. Good job, we're friendly. <laughs> they've like, they've really flourished in this other map. It's like Saba in the south, and in the north, it's got the Celtic Confederation that's just like dominating. Yeah, they're looking pretty strong. How are we relationship wise with them? <laughs> Not good. Okay. That's so I worrying. welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are. Why don't you like me? What's the problem? Treaties. Okay. They're friendly by the looks of it with the um, Sabah. Yeah, very friendly, okay. So I suppose staying on the good terms with the Sabah is also good for us. I will do you the honor of listening to your terms, hoping to hear wisdom and profit in them. I've noticed our relationship's gone we're still friendly, but we're not amazingly friendly. The relations... Oh, no, sorry. No, we are neutral, actually, now. Yeah. <laughs> that's slightly worrying now. So we've got, we've got a non-aggression pact, but that's all we've got in place. A trade agreement. I'm not definitely going to give them access. That would be a bad idea. Because this the Sabah could open up a whole eastern front for us, which we don't want going up against Rome. That's something we don't want yet. So we might try and push for a defensive alliance if we can get that. 
They're expansionist though, obviously I can see why <laughs> they're taking a lot of places. Yeah, I've got to keep an eye on that now, actually that's looking a little bit iffy. Um, Carthage. I guess. I want to get that actually to be fair. I'm safe for it. Okay, it's run over a bit this episode, so I'll call it here. But it's um yeah, looking this side of things pretty good. The Massalia are about to fall. Um got some strong armies knocking about in these kind of provinces. Um we're on the verge here, I think a few more turns. Once this is all built, we can probably try and kick Rome out of Sicily altogether, and then by that time we should have this um, situation over here dealt with, and we can move armies back up towards Carthage and then push into Italy. Carolus will be another one, it's a good, good one to take as well. Taking that will give us a bit more of a view of what's happening in the you know, the sea around here. But anyway, yeah, looking good. So I'll leave it here for now, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.